it's Danny here. I'm in Sunde, Canton, China, and I'm about to go into this Deer Hill Hotel for breakfast. And it's famous for yum cha for the locals in this hotel because all the food here are very unique. It's different from what we normally have in yum cha restaurants. Um, how is it different? Well, let's go in and check it out. So we can see the waitress is actually making the red tea. I've just ordered a red tea. And that's the process how they do it off the table. So it hasn't been up to my table yet, but they have a small station for all the waitresses to actually prepare the tea for the customers. Hey, hello, how are you? Why do you need to bring the water back to the table? It's green tea is 85 degrees. Oh, the water is 85 degrees. So what she says is that the, the water temperature could not be at 100 degrees so she's trying to cool it down to 85 degrees Celsius. Thank you. So you probably see the waitress put boiling water in the pot and um, this is not for drinking actually. Have this a process to actually just use boiling water to rinse the spoons, chopsticks, and then they will provide you with a a container, something like this. This is a very fancy one, but normally if you go into a street restaurant, they will just use the, um, like a big bowl or a big pot for you to pour the water in. And this, there was a waitress come up to me and trying to do this process for me, but I said I'm filming a video, so I'd rather do it myself. But in some of the good hotel restaurants, all these processes will be done by the waitresses. And this is the menu. Whatever you like, you can just use the pen to tick it. It has about over a hundred dishes you can choose from. What I like, I actually like to have... so many dishes to choose from I want to try everything so this is vermicelli roll I ordered the egg one and that is a special soy sauce it's not the traditional soy sauce you can buy from the supermarket they also add into other stuff well the recipe is different from restaurant to restaurant from chef to chef um, it's very soft a little bit sticky well let's try and see how it goes Mm. I think the saltiness is just right and a um, little bit of sweetness and um, it's very very tender and it's kind of addictive I want to have another one and this is steamed braised beef Stomach. It's a very popular dish in Sunde Canton. That's one of my favorite dishes as well. Um, I like the texture of the stomach and I like the sauce. I think the sauce is a major part of this dish. Well, let's try it. It's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit sweet. It's a, it's a great combination. But I think if without the sauce, the stomach doesn't actually taste anything and the texture is a little bit chewy and this one cute little thing I never had it before that's the sweet potato dumpling it's kind of sticky oh there's a it's actually got a lot of stuff in it I think it's got seaweed radish and something else I have to taste it mm. Mm. Wow. Wow, it's really nice. It's got so much texture in it. I think this dish 
is one of the most artistic design dish I've ordered. It's got six pieces. The skin actually feels a little bit tough because I can feel it from my chopsticks. And the inside, I believe, is red bean. I think the size is actually awesome. It's like a sushi size. They cut it into the size that you can actually swallow it in one go without having to breaking it down. Let's try it. Mm. The inside stuff actually stuck together. But the outside is crispy. It's like chips, but also sticky. So try to wrap everything together. The sweet is not like super, super sweet. It's just right because for breakfast, I don't think we can have something that's so strong. I think I, I, want, I want something light, but the texture is great. Crispy on the outside, soft and sticky on the inside. So I've just got this cup dish from dumplings. I think it's steamed in this pumpkin soup, which is called a golden soup here. One side is green, the other side is light yellow. And it feels like you're drinking tea, but it's actually full. I'm gonna taste the soup first. Wow, the soup is so good. It's salty, but also have the sweetness. I think it's coming out from the, from the pumpkin. Guess I'm gonna have this in one go with the soup. Mm. Wow, it's amazing. Oh, that's so good. It's like the pumpkin soup flavor is actually inside the dumpling. I'm gonna have another one. 